All right, let's jump right into it. This training right here is what I call the training of trainings. It is, I think, the deepest work you could ever go through on manifestation. And what we're going to be covering here is The Power of Awareness, one of the chapters in here by Neville Goddard. If you have this book, great, pull it out. If you don't, no big deal at all. I got the PDF I sent out to you so you can print out the chapter or just follow along on my screen as we go through. But we're going to be going through the effortless way in this book. If you do want to buy the book, I would go on Amazon and get this exact copy. Okay, Tarcher, I think it's Penguin, is the publisher. I would get this exact one. All right. I want you to think about what you can be doing to actually manifest things by the end of this year. Okay. It's November 20th, 2020. We got about 40 days left of the year, plus minus some days for Christmas and the wonderful holidays coming up here. I want you to think through for the next 40 days, what would you like to see? I've seen things miraculously happen for the ones who decide on it for the last 30 days to 40 days of the year to triple to four times the amount of income they have coming in. So they spend 11 and a half months in this year building a sort of income. And then the last 30 to 40 days, they tripled to four times their income. This isn't necessarily a time to slow down because things are coming up for holidays. This is a time to amplify and fulfill your potential so you can enjoy a very rocking end of the year. Then take a little break for the holidays or whatever you have planned. So first and foremost, put down your intentions for the rest of the 40 days of this year. Then we're gonna get into the training. What would you like? What's possible for you? What do you desire? What are you excited by? What are you fulfilled by? Go ahead and think first in terms of money, then in terms of sales, business, anything you have going on there, and then your other areas of life. And if you're watching the replay, definitely follow along, even if you're on replay and not live. Okay, so I'll keep myself muted here for about 60 seconds. Go ahead and think, meditate, and ask yourself, what do I want? What excites me? About 30 seconds here. I know a few of you just joined down. What we're doing is brainstorming. What would you like to have happen in the final 40 days of this 2020 year? What excites you? What's going to get your juices flowing? What's going to get you feeling fulfilled by the end of this year? What is possible for you? Go ahead and write those intentions down. I hope you have some ideas written down. And as we go throughout the hour long training today, you can definitely add to those ideas. Think through what's going to be exciting to you. Everything is intention. When we put out and we actually think through what is the design of the 2020 year that we want, and we start to actually be there in imagination. The audio that we just listened to as you're getting on to the call today was Neville Goddard himself. And what he was talking about is your wonderful human imagination if you're battling something in your mind, you're feeding it. And if you're sending love to something in your mind, you're feeding it. So if you're like, man, I'm in a sales slump. I haven't had great sales. September, October, man, you know, I just better give up this year. Okay, 2021, I will just jump into a year like a cliche thing many people do, right? Well, I'm battling that thing. I maybe hate that thing. I just can't, I just can't stop thinking about it. I'm feeding it with my feeling. I'm going to keep perpetuating that. Because what goes on is in my imagination, I'm replicating the same images. I'm replicating the same end scenes. I'm replicating the same exact behaviors in my imagination. If I feed something that I don't want, I get more of it. Sounds a little ridiculous, right? But that's how the laws work here. 
they're inhuman, as I call them. There's not some human being on the cloud saying, you're going to get this, you're going to get this, Amy, you're going to get this, Linda, right? You're going to get this on L, right? We're actually understanding that whatever you put out, it just accepts. Now, on the other side, if I start seeing myself in the sales soar, S-O-A-R, soar, sales rocketing, sales increasing, I even maybe give myself a label, I'm a sales rocket, I'm a sales machine. If I start seeing that in my mind, what's going to happen is I'm going to self-replicate that. First, it goes in imagination, then expresses itself onto this physical space we call reality. You'll start to encounter possible opportunities and people and clients or prospects you talked to years ago saying, I want in now because I want a 2021 year or whatever it is. Okay. So the idea is if I give something love, I feed that as well. So instead of hating current results, love the manifested desires in your mind. Fall in love with viewing them in your imagination rather than hating your current reality. That is an energy shift of night and day that we call. This money game is an energy game. The sales game is an energy game. Business is an energy game. Personal relationships, an energy game. If you can change the energy, and how do you change energy? By changing thoughts, emotionalized thoughts, you'll start to change the reality. 